Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. It's deeply disheartening, and, and there's really nobody who could claim that our uh, founders, the people who wrote our constitutions, uh, wanted a president to have this kind of power, this sort of immunity. It's a big win for Trump, and, and somebody like, like him, who's a reckless operator, uh, uh, God only knows what damage could be done. I mean, he is going to be filled with hubris, uh, be, f- thinks he, he can use his Justice Department, if he got reelected, to go after ex-presidents, you know, Clinton and Biden. He could go after, um, you know, a former FBI agents, CIA people. You know how these rulings come down live during our show, very like yesterday, and, like, oh. and we had Harry Lippman. We had uh, our legal lad, yeah, as, who apologized for being so fast. He's yeah. like, "I'm so sorry, it was it so was fast. Like, <laughs> it was speed lawyering," <laughs> and then he had to go back to MSNBC. <laughs> but it, it's when we have time to digest it. First of all, we're not lawyers, right? When by the time you have time to digest it, oh God, it's way worse mm-hmm. than it even it seemed, and mm-hmm. and you knew from Harry's reaction that it was bad. Yeah, but oh my God, yeah. I can't, I am, is gobsmacked, is that a legal word? It is Starry a legal decisis, word. Stare decisis, gobsmacked, I am is. gobsmacked. Yes. They're saying pe- lawyers on both sides of the aisle are gobsmacked. Yeah. I mean, Richard Nixon is in hell going, what the hell? <laughs> uh, well, ah. Biden needs to get to work criming then. Remember yes. I said yes. to Harry, yes, I yes. said to Harry yesterday, this reminds me of, you know, Nixon saying if the president does it, it's not mm-hmm. illegal. Chris I'm like, said it last I'm like, night no, too. it's worse. Yeah, Chris it's Hayes, worse yeah. if Donald Trump does it. Yeah. It's not illegal. It's just for Donald Trump. Right. I mean, it's, I, I mean, I, Harry Libman wrote a whole piece. I haven't gotten to it yet in the LA Times, but about, it's not even just, First of all, I, no act should be immune, official, unofficial. Why are we even splitting those hairs? I mean, it literally, it's like a horrible, evil improv. It's a yes and, right? His, remember his attorney said, yes, he could order SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a rival. Mm-hmm. The Supreme Court's yes and. What other powers could, could we give you? Oh, you can't ask the president's motive. Motive, that goes to every crime exactly. that we ever charge. You can't. Yeah, the president can he probably by the way already has taken a bribe for pardons all of the stuff they listed are crimes he's already committed that they're like nah that's fine is am i interpreting this wrong did you were you guys as just completely i well you know me i i am i'm gonna run through fields of hopium anyway because oh. i had the same feeling I think dino badala said it rachel bittekoffer said it the federalist society has handed biden the political gift of a lifetime the message becomes simple no kings vote vote biden yep uh, jody and i were just talking before the show chris i our road rage was already I know, here 11 and then you have this ruling mm-hmm. and then you have john roberts stupid patricending like oh ladies 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 calm down oh you can, there is no you're hyperbole you're so emotional <laughs> there is no hyperbole that's too hyperbolic mm-hmm. for what they just did i know I, hyperbole tends to be hyperbolic yeah <laughs> people that engage in hyperbole are worse than hitler yeah you know but Listen, uh, yeah. we have charlie pierce we this... have allison gill we have general russell honore who is now we've figured out our military time and our, he was supposed <laughs> to be here yesterday we we're like thank god the, the good we side? Didn't, we didn't have these times so it's during Normandy. Oh, 0600? Oh, you're on the <laughs> beach already? I was supposed to be there now at Normandy? The good okay. side of this ruling? This frees Biden up to do a lot oh, of Chris, stuff. Now you're talking my That's language. A lot of liberal This helpers. frees Biden up to do a lot of things. I was saying, and I don't know what I meant by that, Chris, but I was kind of hoping President Biden's speech would be like Obama's, you know, Bin Laden announcement. But, you know, just, just that, you know. He should have ways of, you know, it, he could arrest he all could. of them for insurrection. Absolutely. And he should. He can work with the DOJ now he is, in Donald Trump is a clear and present yes. international and national security threat. So, yes. so Biden needs to do everything that is now legal for him to do to stop Trump. I agree. Tristan Snell, we're all, we're all uh, liberal helpers today. Biden's next act with his new presidential immunity create four new seats on the Supreme Court by executive order. He can add binding ethics codes as well and a special counsel to investigate corruption on SCOTUS yep. while he's at it. Yes, there's one. He Hang needs on. to do everything in his T-Pain. newly appointed powers. T-Pain, should Joe Biden endow with his new kingly powers, call up Merrin Garland and order him to immediately indict all senators, yep. congressmen, and Trump yes. advisors that participated in January 6th. I agree. 6th. Yes, he has and. He, he, yes, yes, and. Yes, and. We can play yes, and, too, Supreme Yes, we Court. can. And it's about Mother. time we played yes and. I agree. 
Um, can I just say, authoritarian scholar Ruth Ben Yat uh, said, "Take care of yourselves today." Um, here's what I wrote in my op-ed about Trump's authoritarian profile. Do not lose hope. Do not hide away. Be visible and be heard on the street and phone calls to your elected officials. Um, we have a chance to stop this. We have one chance. One chance. Yep. There now it's all us. Yes, it's I all am. on us on, on uh, election day. Because I, if this, uh, I don't know what to tell you. If I have to tell you why you need to vote now, I, I then we're, well, yes, we're lost. Yes, vote. But we need to do everything before that. Yeah. We need to we need to do everything beginning yesterday. Mm-hmm. Here is everything we can. Tristan Snell, the decision before uh, is now even more clear. Democracy or dictatorship? That is the question for 2024. And if we answer it incorrectly, it'll be the last issue we ever vote on. Um, by the way, Ellie Mistal would agree. It's just just when you think you've hit your level of horrible <laughs> this ruling. He said the point of Roberts not telling us what unofficial or official actually means is that it gives him leeway to make it up later, depending on who wins the next mm-hmm. election. That's yep. exactly it. On cue, Jody hands me uh, CNN's Harry Enten reveals Republican voters believe only Trump should have immunity, but not another president. Because, of course, yep. Yep. we should have a king only if it's Trump. Right. Was it I like mean, 72%? the only way to prevent mm-hmm. yeah. this is to vo- and make sure Donald Trump never sees the Oval Office. First of all, he's a Russian asset. I'm sorry, he's a traitor. Next to he a is Russian a rapist. Plane. He is a felon. I, I, we cannot. We cannot. Okay. Uh, Lawrence Tribe. I, where do I even start? Lawrence Tribe. The illogic of the court's immunity ruling was laid bare in Justice Jackson's dissent. The official versus unofficial act distinction seems both arbitrary and irrational, for it suggests that the unofficial criminal acts of a president are the only ones worthy of prosecution. Quite to the contrary, it's when the president commits crimes using his unparalleled official powers that uh, the risks of abuse and autocracy will be most dire. That's why I didn't even get the core of the ruling. Did you? Right. Well, I, it seems even more dangerous mm-hmm. to say official acts are immune. Are immune. So if I like, say it's, it's, it's like Sotomayor, immune, immune, immune. Mm-hmm. You can do this, do that. I, I don't even. I mean, you could tell Sotomayor was pissed. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Wait, where? I, I got to say, who was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's, There's a lot this a lot. morning. <laughs> I have to go to law school and back. Okay, hang on. Hold, please. Oh, oh okay. Geez. Yeah, Jill Weinbanks had immune, some thoughts. Immune, immune, yes, immune, yes. immune. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm filling time. I here. know you're being. Re- oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were being repetitious because she was repetitious. No. Okay. I'm filling time. Let me just. Our friend Jill <laughs> Weinbanks. <laughs> While you look for things. Packing material. Yeah. Immune, um, immune, thank immunity, you. immunity, 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 immunity. Immu- immune. Oh, here it is. Hold, please. Nobody, everybody, stop helping me now. Okay. <laughs> Normally you don't, so I was shocked. Well, you know. Helping me, yeah. Yeah. threw me a little rope. Yeah. Okay. Um, Neil Katyal said, Justice Sotomayor's dissent warning is unlike anything I have ever seen in a Supreme Court opinion. And she wrote, never in the history of our republic has a president had reason to believe he would be immune from criminal prosecution if he used the trappings of his office to violate the criminal law. Moving forward, however, all former presidents will be cloaked in such immunity. If the occupant of that office misuses an official power for personal gain, the criminal law that the rest of us abide by will not provide a backstop with fear for democracy. I dissent that's what we all have to say on election day with fear for our democracy we dissent as president biden said last night i dissent do we have do we have yeah we have a little uh 19 please the president from last night i know i will respect the limits of the presidential powers i have damn (laughs) but any president including donald trump superman will now be free to ignore the law i concur with justice sotomayor's dissent today she hears what she said. She said, in every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law. With fear for our democracy, I dissent. End of quote. So should the American people dissent. I dissent. May God bless you all. And may God help preserve our democracy. God. We need to give him 67 senators. Thank you. 300 Thank plus. Thank you. I, we can, house, and... Warren's tribe, there are silver linings. You, this, he said this will be overturned. We can overturn these horrible things. We can get Roe v. Wade back. We can protect, uh, you know, gay marriage on down the list if we turn out. I mean, that, that's where we're at. I mean, Jill Weinbanks, I thought, I thought of her last night. I bet. 
I mean, I, she said SCOTUS immunity decision is horrid. With this decision, Nixon would not have resigned and a future Trump administration will act with abandon. Even though SCOTUS says only official acts are immune, its decision includes in official categories Trump t- talking to the DOJ about sending letters to the states falsely claiming fraud in election results. If that is an official act, what isn't? To me, it's clearly a crime by a candidate, not a presidential act. Exactly. I mean, he's trying to get the hush money overturned. That doesn't even, he I, wasn't even president. I, and he, they didn't claim executive privilege no. for that. And ri- really writing checks to a porn star is an official act. I mean, uh, okay, here's the problem. We are not operating in any normal legal universe. Because I know we're all thinking like, oh, so-and-so legal, you know, legal ladder lady that I trust <laughs> said this. No, but they're not, they're talking about if it weren't a normal legal universe that we've been in for 200 years. Right. They're not talking about this Supreme Court of, of Fox News hacks. They're not even, they're not operating in a legal right. world. They're operating in a political world. So how do you make a legal prediction about, oh, yeah, sorry. Here, here's, here's what I heard. You were of, taking a breath. No, 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 no. Here's what I heard <laughs> about that yesterday, and it kind of made sense yeah. to my weird mind. Um, yes, he paid the porn star off. Uh, before he was president. However, all of the evidence that th- they presented was from the time that he was president. Not all and of so, it, though. I, Not all of it, yeah. but most of it. And so all of that has the potential to be thrown out, except for the stuff right. that happened when he wasn't president. I which, don't think Marshawn's going to do that. Um, y- you don't know. You don't know yeah. at this point. Of course, and of course, they're just trying to get the same thing as always, Chris. Delay. Right. They're exactly. trying to delay that, the that's sentencing. Exactly. They're trying to, yes. yeah. But, but um, that made sense to my feeble mind. Let me just... Uh, it's not feeble. Um, Let's not start that again. You was kind. You was smart. You was important. Uh-huh. Here's a pie. Okay. <laughs> what? Here's, Here's a pie. A pie. Here. <laughs> Have a chocolate pie. <laughs> I swear it's chocolate. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I, I'm here for your gastrointestinal distress. I know that's not chocolate. <laughs> Um, let me just follow up uh, Jill Weinbank's two other tweets. She said, but some good news mixed with bad. I'm always here for that, as you know, mm-hmm. running through fields of hopium. Um, one, the indictment isn't over, though the trial before November is. Number two, evidence at hearing on what is and what isn't official conduct uh, if it violates criminal law and trial if there ever uh, whoever one if ever is ever one, is severely restricted. Two, no immunity for unofficial acts, pressuring state officials, fake elector scheme, public statements made as a candidate likely qualify. Three, immunity for official acts is only presumptive, but even that creates undue heavy burden on prosecution. Conduct must fall within conclusive and preclusive constitutional authority. Meetings with VP Pence still on the table. Four, POTUS need uh, not be impeached and convicted first. I... It's hard to pick a most ridiculous thing from this ruling, but uh, anyway, I guess that's what um, I know Katie Fang was talking about and Lawrence mm-hmm. O'Donnell was talking about. Oh, by the way, I'm going to name drop your mom to get Lawrence to commit to New York. I'm going to say uh, Jody's mom, Carol Burnett. Uh, Do you want me to read the email that she sent me? Oh, yes. Uh, Lawrence, are you listening? I know you're up because I, she oh, sent yeah, that totally to up. Carol Burnett to calm her, to calm America's icon. Yes, I did. I did send it to her and I got the email um, yesterday afternoon. Yes. And she writes American National Treasure, Carol Burnett says. I said, You will feel better after this. And she said, Really good. Lawrence. <laughs> a two word answer. Do you really want to disrespect good. a 91 year old American <laughs> icon or do you want to show up at New York City? <laughs> Town Hall, He'll sexy like, liberal save the world there? tour, August third. <laughs> she has a few more Emmys than he does. A few. <laughs> Listen, it's all hands on deck. Yeah. You know who's? I, can I just say, fine American Mark Hamill will be serving here at LA Sexy Liberal and maybe just some other ones. He tweeted, you don't need a corrupt Supreme Court ruling to know how absolute immunity immunity would make a president a king slash dictator. Now it is up to us to channel our rage, disgust, and disappointment to achieve record turnout and make sure we win by a far larger margin than last time. And we can do it. Uh, That's why Sexy Liberal Save the World has partnered now. Our new Get Out the Vote partner is uh, um, GrassrootsDems.com. Uh, dot org mm-hmm. grassroots dems hq they are uh, fantastic get out the vote Th- that is our our sole sexy liberal cause this yep. time so come out see a great comedy show get uplifted get out the vote get this it will help them we're promoting each other we're all in this together um yeah i 
You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 